good morning. I know I'm Welcome back to my channel. So this morning we're gonna make pumpkin pancakes. And this afternoon we're gonna make pumpkin bread. Along with sneezes and stuff. Let's get started. Okay, so these are the ingredients that you will need for these pumpkin pancakes. Super easy. Just a box of your favorite type of pancake mix. I'm using what I already have. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, a can of pumpkin. We are not using this all this pumpkin. You can actually use a couple of recipes out of that. Some vanilla, and I'm gonna use the cinnamon sugar. But you can use cinnamon and a tablespoon of sugar, and then a stick of melted butter. So these are the pancakes. They look and smell so delicious, I'm telling you. And then I just got some bacon and some eggs and we are about to eat breakfast. Um, I'll show you how I'm gonna do mine. I'm not gonna use maple syrup, but I'll show you the one that I make for um, my kids. Hey guys, so this is how mine look. The kids, of course, um, I just made me some um, icing, which is a little bit of heavy cream, and then I'm gonna top it with some pumpkin spice whipped cream. Can you open that for me, Michaela? I'm holding my camera, so yes, baby. This little guy's ready to eat, and his sisters want to give him love, but he's just not dealing with it. Now look at that. That is breakfast. I will see you guys. Back at dinner time. I know I look bald headed today, but I've got a bun. Um, I'm gonna make sloppy joe, homemade sloppy joe, and homemade fries, and a salad. Mama. Let's get started. Mama. 
Okay, so everything is all kind of mixed up together. I'm gonna show you, I've got my um, two pounds of ground beef right there. I've got, I already went and sliced up my peppers and onions, and I'm gonna also put my minced garlic in there. I've got an ice and a cake too. One of my children requested a chocolate cake with, with gummy worms. Yeah, weird, but delicious, because I like gummy worms too, so. Charlie's and our homemade buttercream icing. Um, what you're gonna need for this recipe is brown sugar, um, garlic powder, paprika, 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 Italian seasoning, Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, mustard. Yes, that's all that you need for this. And a little bit of water. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get our ground beef cooked. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bowl. Okay, so in this bowl, let me adjust my camera so you guys can see better. Okay, so in this bowl, I'm gonna move my cakes. Okay, in this bowl, the base, of course, is ketchup. You're gonna use about a cup of ketchup. Yeah. Cup of ketchup, that's the base. We're gonna use about a fourth of a cup of mustard. Oh my goodness. Okay, fourth of a cup of mustard. I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna measure out this. Half a cup of Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of brown sugar. And you can use honey if you want to instead of brown sugar. I'm gonna use all of this remaining garlic. I need to get more anyway. So that was about a fourth of a cup because this was half of um, that. So that is done. Some paprika, just a couple of dashes. Some Italian seasoning. and water. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of water. That is it. Whisk it together. And we're gonna season our um, peppers and onions with our beef. It almost looked like steak sauce. Oh, I forgot onion powder. Onion powder, I can't forget about the onion powder. I had to get some more onion powder. But you can, um, there's fresh onion in there, but just use about a teaspoon of onion powder. All right, and that is it for the sauce. We're just gonna sit it to the side and we'll add that in there. Okay, so I'm about to rinse my beef. 
um, will not will drain my beef, not rinse it. Um, I'm acting like this is pasta. And so all you're gonna do is just add your um, peppers and onions once you've drained your beef back on the stove and kind of saute that. Do not let them overcook. You just want them to be tender, um, but still firm. And add salt and pepper and whatever other seasonings that you like to add. And then we'll add the sauce and let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna start on the fries. I am just using, um, I bought two bags of potatoes from the grocery haul, but I'm just gonna use the red skin potatoes because the other ones um, are gonna be for baked potatoes, so it's fine for another night. I've already washed them and they've dried out. I'm gonna go ahead and get my knife and cut them up. Okay, so I got my um, cookie sheet and I got some parchment strips and I'm just gonna spray this. Now I'm gonna put the wedges on the cookie sheet. Just kind of space them out. As you can okay now I've got some tones fry seasoning I'm gonna season it up with that Then I'm gonna get some black pepper. Okay, so I got some black pepper, of course. Some onion powder. And some ranch seasoning. And if you cannot find the fry sauce, you can use seasoning salt. It'll be pretty much the same. And if you are looking for like the ranch seasoning, you can find this in the pack um, on the ranch on the dressing aisle. I'm going to get some olive oil. <laughs> Drizzle them all over the potatoes. And then for crispy crust, I'm just going to spray some of this canola oil spray. And these will take about 35 to 45 minutes um, on 425, but you want to, after 20 minutes, you want to kind of rotate the fries. Now I'm going to start on my salad, and I'm just whipping up a salad, um, some lettuce that I bought from the store. 
I'm just going to whip that up. I just bought a head of lettuce the other day and I don't even remember. I think I bought it for um, chili and we didn't end up using it so I don't want it to go to waste so I'm going to make a salad out of it. Okay, so this is everything. Our fries, our sloppy joe. We got some pickles, our salad. I made some ranch, and our buns are toasting in the oven. And got our little cake. It just saw me ice, icing. And that is our meal for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you try these recipes, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.